Hello math nerds, it's Kitty Morgan here. It's video four of the unit circle series. And today we're gonna to try to answer the question, how do special triangles relate to the unit circle? But we're gonna keep it only in quadrant one today. We don't wanna overwhelm you. Um, so, and I say I don't wanna overwhelm you because when you look at this big circle, there's lots of things on here. But today we're just gonna talk about the first quadrant and kind of get you familiar with that. And then in the next video, we'll talk about how we can take the first quadrant and look at the rest of the circle. So just a step at a time for us. All right, so notice I have my cute little triangles down here that we talked about in videos one and two. There's your 30, 60, 90. And then down here in pink, I have the lovely 45, 45, 90. So let's see how they fit into our unit circle. Um, well, before we do that, let's label some things that we know from the last video. We know that the circle has a radius of one. So we know that this point is one, zero. I go over one from the middle and up and down nothing, right? Over one, up and down nothing. And then they decided that this, these triangles were so special that they go in the circle two. Look at there, it fits right there. So that's why we had to know the lengths of the side and the height of that 30, 60, 90 triangle. Because if we put this down on a coordinate plane, then you would have to go over root three over two and up one half to get to this point on the circle. So that's the X and Y coordinate of that point on the circle right there. And so from the middle, I go over a lot, and that a lot is square root of three over two and up a little, one half. So I'm gonna write that down. Square root of three over two and up one half. Over a lot, but we didn't go all the way over to one, right? We had to stop to go up to that point uh, in the circle. So over a lot, up a little bit. Okay, so there's something that, that's kind of cool and fun and happy that happens. And we're actually going to do um, take this triangle and we're going to flip it around a little bit. Because remember, um, there can, you know this is a 60 degree angle. So what would happen if I did this? Woo, watch the magic happen. Okay, what would happen if I drew that? So now, instead of looking at the 30 being the angle, it's the 60 that's the angle. So to get to this point on the unit circle, I now I'm gonna go over a little bit and up a lot to get to that point. And if you think about it, that's kind of what you do, over a little bit, and that's one half, and up a lot, and that's that root three over two to get to that point on the circle. So the triangles that we talked about in videos one and two actually fit within the unit circle. Isn't that cool? All right, there's one more person we gotta talk about and that's the 45, 45, 90. So let's put this little triangle in there. There he is. And so to get to this point, remember a 45, 45 has the same um, base and height. We talked about that in the video two. And so, I'm sorry, video one. And so, um, I go root two over two over and square root of two over two up. And then we're gonna finish the quadrant by talking about the 90 degree angle right here. And I'm gonna write that uh, angle in there, that's zero degrees. And this is 90 degrees. And we talked about that if you start from the middle of the circle, you do not go left or right. That means your X value is zero because X is a left and right movement, but you do go the radius up and the radius is one, so that is a value of one. So let's look, oh, and let's put these in here. That's 30 degrees, that's 45 degrees, and that is 60 degrees. So now we know some points on the unit circle, and we found those points by knowing the uh, lengths of the sides of the special triangles. So let's look at this. If you start in the middle and you wanna to get to all these points, that's kind of an easier way to think about this. So if you go all the way over to here, then you've gone the radius and you've gone up and down, not very much. If you wanna to go to this point, then go, okay, go over a lot, up a little bit. And how do I know the values of root three over two and root two over two and how they relate to each other? Let's, let's talk about that for just a second. So if I write down the numbers, 
um, that I see here, which is zero, I don't know why I put a comma there, um, one half root two over two root three over two and one. Those are the numbers, I'm going to take it back away, those are the numbers I see, right? Because those are the only numbers in the special triangles. So let's talk about the order of these. So zero we know is very small. One half, how do I know that one half is smaller than square root of two over two? Well, all of these denominators are two. And I could really think of this as the, if I wanted to get crazy, I could think about that as the square root of one. So I know that this is a small value and that this is a big value, a bigger value, and that this is somewhere in between. And I know that because if you compare fractions and they have the same denominator, then you just compare the numerators. And the square root of one would be less than the square root of two, which would be less than the square root of three. And we know that all of these are less than one because one is the largest value you can have because the radius of the circle is one. You can't go outside the radius. Okay, so if you'll think about these values as small, kind of in the middle, and big, it'll really help us not get confused because that's the biggest thing of the unit circle is people get the values of uh, 30 and 60 mixed up. So that's a cool way to think about it. So if someone says, I want to get to this point represented by the 60 degree triangle, I think to myself, okay, self, I go over a little bit, but up a lot to get there. So that must mean little bit is one half, a lot is root three over two. And look, that is that point. But that's a way to think about it when the points aren't written down for you, okay? So um, that is all for right now. This is supposed to be a short video just to show you how to put the triangles into the first quadrant. In the next video, we're gonna go crazy and fill out the rest of the circle. All right, thanks so much, bye-bye.